Grade 4 Math 3.1 Strategies to Multiply by Tens There are strategies we can use to multiply by tens. We can use place value, the associative property of multiplication, we can use a number line, we can even use mental math. So remember, the associative property is also called the grouping property. It says that we can group factors in different ways and get the same product. We use parentheses to group the factors we multiply first. So here we have 13 times 10 times 2. That could be a 20, couldn't it? Well, we can move the parentheses and do 13 times 10 first and then multiply that by 2. We just group them differently. So our first strategy is we're going to use place value to multiply tens. We have 30 times 20. We can think of 20 as two tens. So we have 30 times two tens. That would be 60 tens. Two times 30, see, 60. So we have 60 tens, and 60 tens is equal to 600. We can look at 600 as 60 tens, see? 12 times 30 is 12 times 3 tens. That's 36 tens, or 360. We can look at the 36 tens, 300s, 6 tens, and 0 ones, as 36 tens. For our next strategy, we can use the associative property and group factors. For 30 times 20, we can think of 20 as the factors 2 times 10. So we have 30 times 2 times 10. We use the associative property to regroup the 30, the 2, and the 10. So we group the 30 and the 2 together, and now the 10 is on the outside of the parentheses. 30 times 2 is 60. Now we have 60 times 10, which is equal to 600. And using the associative property again, for 12 times 30, we could say that's 12 times 3 times 10. 3 times 10 is 30. We regroup and put the 12 times 3 in the parentheses and then multiply it by 10. 12 times 3 is 36. We multiply that by 10 and it's equal to 360. For our next strategy, we can use a number line to multiply tens. We draw hops or jumps to show the product. For 15 times 2, we have a number line here, and you can see it's going 5, 10, 15, 20, so we have the numbers in between, don't we? For 15 times 2, we're going to do 15 hops of 2 each, and when we do our 15 hops, we land at 30. So 15 times 2 is 30. We can use a number line that's in increments of 20 to do 15 times 20. We do 15 hops of 20 and we land at 300. And for our last strategy, we can use mental math to multiply tens by using the halving and doubling strategy. We can add partial products or multiply tens and add zeros. We could do this all in our head if we're good at math. For halving and doubling, if we want to multiply 14 times 30, we split the 14 in half. That's a 7. We do 7 times 30, which is 210, by multiplying that half by the 30, and then we double the product. 2 times 210 is equal to 420. So what we did was we cut this one in half, and we did 7 times 30, and we multiplied that product by 2. You can even say we added the two products to get a 420. For our other mental math strategies, we can add partial products. For 30 times 15, we can do 15 as a 10 plus 5. And if you can multiply in your head 30 times 10, that's 300, and we add 30 times 5, which is 150, that would give us 450. 
We can also multiply tens and add zeros. Here we have four tens times two tens. We multiply the four times the two and get an eight. And there's a zero here and a zero here. That's two zeros. And we just add the two zeros at the back end and we have 800. So you could do 40 times 20 in your head. 30 times 70 would be a 3 times 7, which is a 21. There's a 0 and a 0. We add the two zeros to the back of the 21, and we have 2,100. We can even do it if one of them is not tens, like these are. If we did 12 times 30, we could do 12 times 3, which is 36, and add that one zero onto the back end, and we have 360. So now you have four really good strategies to multiply by tens. You can just use place value, you can regroup with the associative property, you can use a number line, or you could do it in your head with mental math. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.